What's up guys, my name is Aaron. Today I'm going to be reviewing the first season of the show Alone Together, a freeform show. This show is created by Esther Pavitsky and Benji Afalo, and it's basically like fictionalized versions of their life. They're basically playing themselves, and it's kind of like their lives in Los Angeles, making with each other, hanging out with each other, and just basically treating everyone else like terrible people. That's basically the show. There's really no attempt to kind of make a cohesive plot or whatever. It's very sitcom-y, and there's really like no jobs or anything like that. I mean, I guess they're comedians, but that's not really the point of the show. It's just really them hanging out. I think the show is very under the radar. Like, no one talks about it. I was only really made aware of it, like, via YouTube or, like, Twitter or something like that. You know, it's intriguing, and I just thought that the dialogue between the two characters, Esther and Benji, was really authentic and real and I was kind of drawn to it even in the commercials so I watched the first episode as it came out and which is rare for me because I don't really do that I kind of just let them stack up you know what I mean and I really like the show a lot I think the show is not going to be for everybody but I'm just going to list for some of the reasons why I liked it I just think the show has like a very specific energy um it's really weird like it's just basically them hanging out with each other insulting each other and other people around them with no real connective tissue or plot between the episodes it reminds me of like it's always sunny or difficult people but i guess it's about young people i guess it's entertaining because esther and benji have this out of this world fantastic chemistry together and it's just so believable as these two friends who are so used to each other that they're just kind of sick with each other you know what i mean they have a lot of lived in history together almost immediately from the pilot when after Esther gets a ride from Benji after he has she has a one night stand Esther uses this like baby voice to try to convince Benji to you know take her to a juice place and Benji is just like completely rebuffs her advances he's like you know baby voice doesn't work on me I don't just sleep with you you want to try asking me like a normal adult and um I think it's just really basically telling of what makes the show so special to me because to me it was really funny just the way that he was so abrupt with her it really sets up this dynamic as like a strictly platonic friendship and there's really no chance of them having like like a will there won't they relationship i think the fact that esther laughs at what he says you know what i mean like knowing that she's being silly and she's trying to get a reaction out of benji is just really funny that's all basically the dynamic of this show in a nutshell like this platonic friendship of these two young friends um trying to make each other laugh by hurling out mean or weird things at each other just to kind of get a reaction because you know what else can they really talk about they you know everything else about each other you know what i mean the brand of humor is really specific but i think there's a true sense of truth and reality here that makes it so much funnier than initial watches you know what i mean i don't think i've seen like a comedy as fully formed in this pilot since broad city i think they're really kind of tapping into something great here i think the most important thing about a show like a continuous show is the characters you really can't have like a show without interesting characters the show really only has two but they're so fleshed out and realistic even from the beginning of the show that it makes you care even when there's literally nothing happening in the show like there's no plot i'd say esther is the more interesting of the duo like this really delusional self-absorbed girl who has such an inflated ego of herself even though she's not really talented in any way and she's like also super insecure about everything basically i think esther is so funny to me like how she kind of ingratiates herself into different situations where she's clearly not wanted like anything with uh, benji's brother dean and how she wants to be with him um, he's like this really super talented property manager who exclusively dates basically Instagram models and Benji basically puts out, you have no chance with my brother, you wear your dad's boxers. And she's like, well, it's vintage. Um, just the things that she says is just, you know, so crazy. And Esther is obviously pretty heightened as opposed to Esther in real life. But I think it's a kernel of truth of how this character acts that makes it so like believable and stuff. Like I think I know people like this and it's just really funny to see her kind of interact with people. I think Benji's kind of the same way too, this kind of awkward, insecure dude who kind of mooches off his more successful brother and spends his time hanging out with Esther. Benji isn't as oblivious to the world as Esther is, but the way he kind of disassociates himself from society to basically just roast everything around him is hilarious and also telling of his psyche. I also don't think Benji is as good of an actor as Esther, but I don't know, I think the way that he just doesn't react to anything like that, he just had his like dead eyes throughout the entirety of the show makes the things that he says so funny to me. I think the characters are really interesting and the way they kind of pepper in a little details about each other and about their history and stuff when they cloud each other makes this feel so much more real and funny to me. And I like their interactions with other people too. I think the show is not as strong as when Esther and Benji are kind of forced to interact with people who call out their bullshit. Um, example of this being where like Esther has this dinner party with this cool couple who lives in her apartment and it ends up being that they're therapists basically who are extremely interested in Esther and Benji's dynamic 
when the couple comes calls them out on them being like codependent, they immediately attack back with things like, "We know we're codependent. We text each other whenever we have a bowel movement, and like we face each, we FaceTime each other before bed and fall asleep to each other's ambient noises." Again, this is really telling of their relationship because it acknowledges that they know they're in a bad relationship, but they don't really care to do anything about it or kind of improve it. A stinger at the end of the episode where um Esther, Benji, and Jeff, who's their friend, were playing charades. They're playing a special version of it where. Esther can only win because she only knows the answers because it's basically just all 90s girl band related. Benji says one of the most hilarious things I've heard in like a show um, when he when he says to this ridiculous game, he's like, what are you, Angelica from Rugrats? Who makes up rules just to basically win? It's just so interesting seeing like a peek into these characters' lives and how they think and stuff. And especially whenever they're with other people, I think it's so hilarious to me. Now, I could talk about how like plotless this show is on and on, but to me, it doesn't really matter. I think the show is just really about them hanging out with each other. And on an enjoyment level, I don't think I've seen a show this is as entertaining as this one in such a quick fashion. You know what I mean? Like from the first episode, I think it's really funny. The mean and insulting humor really kind of appeals to me as it shows depth, humor, and insight into the character all at once. Um, the characters are so absurd and ridiculous but also fleshed out enough that you kind of see real people in them throughout their antics and um, them throwing themselves into other people's life is just like a recipe for success for me because it shows who they are as people and how they treat other people. You know what I mean? I think you're gonna have a strong reaction to the show either loving it or hating it on the first initial watch but I ended up loving it and I watched the entire thing in its entirety. Um, to me this is like a strong 8 out of 10 or B+. Plus. <laughs> I'd recommend watching the pilot first because if you're interested in the show, you have a firm understanding of where you'll kind of stand by the end of that episode. You know what I mean? It's really not that different from the first episode. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Alone Together, the first season. What are your guys' thoughts? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comments what you thought, and thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs>